Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another episode of Sea Salt Snippets. Today for you guys, we've got some spicy topics to talk about, so let's just dive straight into it. So first off for today, we have some interesting information from the Square Enix CEO, known as Yosuke Matsuda. And recently within a magazine, he actually got onto the topic about talking about simultaneous worldwide releases, new games, as well as that, uh, he also got onto the topic about talking about the Nintendo Switch. Now, obviously for a game like Kingdom Hearts, and especially looking at towards uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 specifically, I think the whole topic of a simultaneous worldwide release is very, very important. Now, he actually goes into the whole simultaneous worldwide release uh, situation quite a bit, as you guys can see from this pretty damn big multiple paragraph section right here. Uh, so I'm not going to actually read over it, but mainly just talk about the more important stuff. So he gets into the fact that he believes Final Fantasy XV sold so well due to its simultaneous worldwide release. Now in case you guys don't know, Final Fantasy XV was the very first Final Fantasy game in history to release simultaneously worldwide, pretty much meaning that the game releases at the same time around the whole entire world, meaning that everybody gets it at the same time, rather than releasing it, say, in Japan first, and then uh, Europe in the next week, and then the week after that in America. When looking towards simultaneous worldwide releases, this is something that Square Enix doesn't really do, especially when looking towards the uh, Japanese side of their games, and for the longest time now, of course, us Kingdom Hearts fans have become very used to receiving Kingdom Hearts games late, as they have always released in Japan first. Now, of course, we have never received a simultaneous worldwide release for Kingdom Hearts. And of course, this very statement gets people extremely worried for Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, we have definitely, definitely seen an improvement between the release schedule of the Japanese version to the localized version within Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. Back in the past, there used to be about a three month difference, if not more, between the Japanese and localized version, whereas nowadays with 2.8 and Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, we only had to wait about two to three weeks which is a huge, huge improvement. I believe that this is evidence towards Square Enix actually changing up their tactics when uh, it comes to game releases, especially looking towards their Japanese side. And from what Yusuke Masuda is actually saying in this statement, he wants to sort of influence more simultaneous worldwide releases within the Japanese side of their games. So this is a really, really good thing. If the CEO of Square Enix for like the Japanese side and whatnot is actually saying that, hey, you know, simultaneous worldwide releases is really good, it's beneficial for the company as well as the consumer, I think we should do it more. This really does give me hope that perhaps maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 will indeed have a simultaneous worldwide release just due to the scale of the game itself. And he mentions here that when looking specifically towards RPGs and action adventure games, it's pretty important to uh, sort of incorporate a simultaneous worldwide release for a game of that genre, which of course is the exact same genre genre that Kingdom Hearts falls under. So I thought I'd mention this today just because I think it's a really, really important aspect, especially when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 3. I think it's great to know that Square Enix uh, are really sort of buckling down when it comes to the whole simultaneous worldwide release side of things, so we can only hope. Next up, a couple of days ago, Disney Animation over on Twitter ended up confirming that Frozen 2 is indeed real and will be hitting the theaters in 2019. Now, this is fairly what interesting, but I think for the most part, most of us knew that Frozen 2 was going to happen, mainly because of the success behind the very first movie for Frozen. In case you guys don't know, Frozen is the all-time best-selling animated film ever, so it definitely makes sense that Disney would jump back in to the money pool and uh, create a new Frozen, hopefully to be better than the original. Uh, and within saying that, you know, honestly, I know the meme goes where, you know, like, everyone loves Frozen and people don't understand why it's popular. I don't think the film is necessarily uh, mind-blowing or anything, but I definitely did enjoy it. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up today is, of course, Disney is a massive part of Kingdom Hearts. And so I know that there is a lot of discussion behind the fact of getting Frozen into Kingdom Hearts 3 as a world, and I think the possibility of that happening is extremely high just due to the sheer success of Frozen itself. I mean, there's already a massive 
fan base behind Frozen, mainly looking towards the younger audience. So if, you know, like Disney and Square Enix actually decide to put that in Kingdom Hearts, then that puts even more of the attraction onto Kingdom Hearts 3. However though, I think that with having Frozen with inside of Kingdom Hearts 3 as a world would be really good promotion for the second film, and it gets me thinking, if Kingdom Hearts 3 is perhaps maybe scheduled for early 2019 or of course late 2018 which is what most of us want then of course that would mean that Kingdom Hearts 3 would be releasing before the release of Frozen 2 and of course if Frozen actually is a world in Kingdom Hearts 3 then it would make for very very good promotion for the film. The other interesting thing to take into consideration is we already know that Big Hero 6 in Kingdom Hearts 3 is actually a continuation of the Big Hero 6 uh, story so it takes place after the events of the film so I think it'd be really interesting to see like if Square Enix could actually come up with a sort of plot where Frozen in Kingdom Hearts 3 the events that we see in the game would take place after the events of the film just before the second movie. I know the whole topic of Frozen being in Kingdom Hearts 3 is a very controversial uh, topic indeed, so let me know what you guys think about Frozen being in Kingdom Hearts 3 in the comment section down below. And last up for today, the Halloween Town versions of both Donald and Goofy have been linked for the Funko Pop line for Kingdom Hearts by a user that goes by the name of Poncho Pete over on Instagram. So this is him right here, and in case you guys don't know, Kingdom Hearts has finally got its own Funko Pop line, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I'm still in the midst of actually uh, ordering all of the current Funko Pops for Kingdom Hearts. Unfortunately, as of right now, uh, there is actually no original Kingdom Hearts characters in the form of a Funko Pop, which is pretty damn unfortunate. I really, really want a uh, Roxas, Sora, Kairi, Riku Funko Pop figure, but unfortunately, we only actually have the Disney characters as of right now. So it will be interesting to see if this uh, Funko Pop line actually expands into actually introducing the original Kingdom Hearts characters, like different variations of Sora in his drive forms for like rarer editions of that Funko Pop, or things like the organization members and whatnot. Okay, guys, that's all from me today. Hope you guys have had a fantastic day. Let me know what you guys think about the news in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.